morning, fourth graders. I am going to show you what your job is today in science class. First, make your way to our science Google Classroom, and in the Classwork tab, you'll find the assignment, Can Woolly Worms Predict the Weather? You've probably already gotten here because this is where you found this video, but there are two other links for you. The first one is a link to Wonderopolis. Can Woolly Worms Predict the Weather? You have two jobs on this website. First, your choice, you can read the article or you can click this listen button at the top and have the article read to you. Doesn't matter to me as long as you um, listen to the article. Second, we have a video here all about woolly worms. So you can watch the video, you can enlarge the pictures and take a look at those. Once you have completed the article, go back to Google Classroom and open up the Google Jamboard. On the Jamboard are three questions, pink, yellow, and blue. You are going to read the question, and then to answer it, add a sticky note of the same color. So my first question is in pink. Woolly worms are actually what stage of the Isabella tiger moth? Come over here to the toolbar, select the sticky note, Type your answer in a complete sentence, make it pink, and save it to your Jamboard. You'll repeat the process with the yellow and the blue sticky notes. Now, for a bonus point and to prove that you have listened to my video here, you are going to insert a picture of a woolly worm anywhere on the Jamboard. So in order to do that, you go to the mountain here, add image, Google image search, and then search for woolly worm. You can find the spelling on the article or on the Jamboard. Once you finish, go back to Google Classroom and click Turn In. Your only option if you finish early is to go back to Wonderopolis and you can explore the website. So you can search for anything you would like and read any of the articles. This is your only option when you finish. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.